Hi there. Welcome to English for Everyone. My name's Lisa. Today we're going to talk about nouns that are always used in a plural form. And what do Americans really say? Underwear is or underwear are. And we're also going to talk about why it's not correct to say. This is called tongs. Let's take a closer look and see why. Let's look at these objects. Glasses, sunglasses, goggles, headphones, scissors, pliers, tongs. These objects consist of two parts. They are always used in a plural form. We never use a with these objects because a is for one. For example, I wear glasses. Do you wear glasses? The glasses are on the book. That's right. They are on the book. They are on the book. It's not it is, but we say they are. They are on the book. Let's practice. Where are the glasses? That's right. They are on the book. Good job. Sunglasses. I have sunglasses. I don't need to buy new sunglasses. Do you need to buy new sunglasses? Good job. Goggles. I don't have goggles. She has goggles. Do you have goggles? Does she have goggles? That's right. She has goggles. Good job. Headphones. I don't have good headphones. He has good headphones. Do you have good headphones? Does he have good headphones? That's right. He has good headphones. Good job. What about this object? They are called pliers. That's right. We don't say it is. We say they are. They are contraction there. They're called pliers. They're called pliers. Or we can say these are. These are pliers. Remember, it's an object that consists of two parts. We cannot say this is. We say these are. These are pliers. Let's practice. What are they called? That's right. They are called pliers. I have pliers. Do you have pliers? Where do you keep them? I keep my pliers in the toolbox. I keep them in the toolbox. Do you keep them in the toolbox too? That's right. I keep them in the toolbox. Good job. And that's why it's not correct to say. This is called tongs. This object consists of two parts. We always use it in a plural form. You can say, these are called tongs, or they are called tongs. Or you can also say, these are tongs. I have tongs. Do you have tongs? Very good. So let's practice. What are they called? That's right, they are called tongs. Or, are these tongs? That's right, these are tongs. Good job. Scissors. I have scissors. Do you have scissors? I keep my scissors in the drawer. Where do you keep your scissors? Good job. So remember, when you introduce these objects, we say these are. These are glasses. These are sunglasses. These are goggles. These are pliers. These are tongs. These are scissors. These objects are always used in a plural form. They are special. And now let's talk about clothes. It's a special word. It's always used in a plural form. We say, my clothes are. 
my clothes are clean, my clothes are dirty. We always use this word in a plural form. Let's look at the pronunciation. Close. The TH sound is silent. We pronounce this word the same way we pronounce close the door. Close. These are clothes. I have a lot of clothes. The clothes are dirty. The clothes are clean. The clothes are on the floor. I need to buy new clothes. Or, I don't need to buy new clothes. I have a lot of clothes. Let's practice. Are the clothes in the closet? That's right. The clothes are in the closet. Are the clothes clean? That's right. They are clean. They are contraction there. They are clean. I don't need to buy new clothes. Do you need to buy new clothes? The clothes are clean. The clothes are in the closet. I have a lot of clothes. They are clean. They are in the closet. And now let's look at these objects. Pants, jeans, shorts, tights, leggings, overalls, pajamas. These objects are always used in a plural form too. For example, I have pants. The pants are clean. I have jeans. They are dirty. Shorts. Where are the shorts? They are in the closet. Overalls. I don't have overalls. Do you have overalls? Do you have jeans? Where are they? Do you have shorts? Are they clean? Good job. And now let's look at this word, pajamas. Some people say pajamas and some people say pajamas. Both pronunciations are correct. And when you're talking to a child, you might say, go put your jammies on. So remember, this word is always used in a plural form. I have pajamas. I need to buy new pajamas. The pajamas are clean. The pajamas are dirty. Let's practice. Do you have pajamas? Are they clean? Where are they? Good job. And now let's look at this word. Underwear. Underwear is or underwear are. Both are correct. His underwear is showing. He's sagging. His underwear is showing. Or you can say, the underwear are in the drawer. So you can say underwear is or underwear are. Both are correct. His underwear is showing. He's sagging. Or the underwear are in the drawer. Both are correct. But what if you want to count all these objects? Then you can say a pair of or two pairs of, three pairs of. For example, I have two pairs of glasses. I have two pairs of jeans. I have three pairs of shorts. What about you? How many pairs of jeans do you have? Good job. And now let's review what you just learned. These objects are always used in a plural form. Glasses, sunglasses, goggles, headphones, pliers, tongs, scissors. It's not correct to say, this is glasses. We say, these are. These are glasses. These are pliers. These are tongs. These are scissors. If you want to count these objects, we say, I have two pairs of pliers. I have two pairs of glasses. Clothes. The clothes are clean. The clothes are in the closet. I have a lot of clothes. I have jeans. I have shorts. I have pajamas. If you want to count these objects, we say, I have two pairs of jeans. I have three pairs of shorts. Thank you for watching. And if you want to learn English and practice speaking English, check out the link in the description. 
for more videos just like this one. Bye!